Uh, it's on our Instagram. Okay. We're live. I don't know why this thing only stays on here and doesn't go back to the editor. Hi. I don't, I think we're live. It says we are. Open web visor. I don't know. I'm on, make sure you go to all chat. Live chat. <sighs> all messages. That's right. We are here. I think we are going to see a decrease in, in visitors, like people on the chat today, because we're just trying it out to see how the ergonomics of Patreon Live works. We might change it into a different one that's like a special one once a month that'll be Patreon only. Yeah, or maybe just do paid pages. I don't know what, how we'll do that, but I, it's hard because on YouTube, if you do it, it will send you a notification. But this way, I can't unless that post doesn't post until we go live. It won't notify you that we're live now. Does yeah, that that's sense? true. And so, I like the notification. Me too. Because so, people like the link that yeah. it provides. Yeah. Well, the immediate. Because like, if I'm not looking at my phone right when it goes live, I'm not going to know it's, we're live. Oh, mine was automatically set to all message, all chat. Dang, cool. Well, we'll see how this works tonight. Hi, everybody. How are you? We got nine people on. Hey, ayo, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. I just put it on the live on the on the story on Instagram again and said we are live now. <laughs> so yeah, live. what's up, Rick? We're How are you? Live. You're live now. Hey oh, hey oh, hey oh, hey oh. No Lacroix tonight. Today we're spilling Tell all over ourselves. <laughs> Bella Vi, Bella Vi, which is Aldi's version, and honestly, it might be superior. Um, I would actually really like. Does anyone know? I don't like the soda streams because they're too big. But I saw on Noah Beck's video him do like a he create he like charged the seltzer water in like an own portable thing. Yes. And I just want to know what that is. Can you go unmute look. yourself for just one second? It's gonna be annoying y'all for just a second. I just think we're peaky. What that is. Can you go unmute look. yourself for just one second? It's gonna be annoying y'all for just a second. I just think we're peaky. No, we're not. Okay. I don't think we are. Okay. If it gets weird and like feels like it's like topping out on the audio side, just let me know because I that's like it drives me the craziest on audio. Craziest. And I can't hear it, so I'm just kind of going off of What is levels. going on? It's Monday. Is everyone having a case of the Mondays? Because we got a lot done today, but we also kind of did not get as much. Well, we, we didn't get what we wanted to get done today. I feel today. like what I wanted to get done and what actually got accomplished was good, but not quite exactly what I thought would happen. And tomorrow right. we're just busy with other things and meetings, and so it's just going to be harder to be productive, but we're going to make it. We have an audition tomorrow for uh, like no, a No, we have job. a casting call, but we'll see. I literally don't think anything will come from it. We signed with a talent agent, which I kind of regret. But we are not signed with them, but they're going to no, send we actually us didn't. stuff. They're going to send us stuff. And if they book us stuff, then they get paid. But we said we can't sign exclusively with you because we need to sign with a person that's like going to do our job stuff. Well, and it's more for local it's stuff. It's like local they're, they're productions. Local production so we're going to go... Uh, do a casting for Hallmark, Hallmark tomorrow? tomorrow. We sent in a voice acting job to her garment. Like, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't know. I thought you did really well. I um, don't. Oh, okay. Not quite what they were looking for, probably. They said philosophy, Jim Bro. <gasps> no, you're buried deep in taxes. You guys. We got through our taxes. We got okay. through our taxes. God is good. God is good. We made it through. We the had first enough. quarter, we had enough. God is good. So God is good. Pray for the finances still to come in this but, year. But for last year, we we're good. Yeah, we made it last year. So I feel for you, Tim. We were we were in the throes of it too. But oh, packed a few boxes, Emily. They're so close to moving. You move in April, is that right? Why don't I? Oh, corn. It is a corn kind of Monday. I I understand. Corn. Corn. I was busy thinking about corn. corn. If you haven't seen that one from Matthew Moore, we haven't talked about that video in a long time. I love that video. I finished my taxes two weeks ago. Yay! Uh, April 27th. Wow. It's coming up. I'm imagining Paul's voice uh, directing me on a Garmin device. It's not like that. It would be no, like for ad work. An ad like, campaign. It's the voice for an ad campaign. Yeah. yeah. But like we had to send in, what we thought it was like a full on like slate video thing and it was just an MP3. <laughs> so I got the cameras out like the whole nine yards. And yeah, I was we like, didn't need to do that. I need to submit an MP3. 
I should, I should always read those emails and not just rely. <laughs> Luke did a good job, but he didn't read the first part of the email, which was like, submit an MP3. No, I was looking, and then I just missed it. I don't know what yeah. happened. I was like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, so I was just going to... Yeah. I just thought... I was thinking about it. Safe than sorry. I was thinking... Yeah. Really? Really? I was thinking about corn. Really? You were thinking about it. I'm so late to Texas. We'll probably have to file an extension. That, honestly, here's the deal, Tim. I understand that. Wait, I, isn't that today? All of my company... No. Isn't that deadline the 28th? What's your deadline? No, isn't it the... If it's an LLC, it's not until April. But if he's an S-Corp, he might be an s He's a realtor. So he might pay quarterly. Well, even if you pay quarterly. Like, your normal Ours, ours was the 25th. I know. That's today. For, for the S-Corp. But for for LLC, I think it's different. Because mine wasn't... In, when I was in LLC, it wasn't until yeah, April. Yeah, it's like tax April. day. Yeah. March, April 15th. Yeah. Yeah, April 14th, April 15th. It's the general date. And that was... But what mine was. was the 25th. Yeah, for the S Corp, for for Twin Sauce, it was the it was this month mid mid. It was twenty fifth. It's today. Today, but we got them in before, so it was fine. Ba bum ba ba dum, guys. I am kind of pooped today. Like it was. It's a good day to be alive. That's for sure. Cause we're gonna have a good day. Tonight. Um, but I'm peaky a little bit. I'm just like. Sleepy. Oh, LC. I'm sorry. My boss has been taking care of my credit for my ideas at work, and it's been rough. Oh, LC, bro. Man, I've just heard a lot of bad news today. I feel like that's. Well, who is it? Over the weekend, somebody said this month has just been horrid. I like every other oh, second at the show. At the show, they're like every every like day I hear somebody else died, and I'm like, oh, that is bad. <laughs> yeah, it's just been a lot of debatable. April is the text deadline for the general yeah, public. Escorts are usually due a month before. <clears throat> Isn't that great? Excuse me. Oh, uh, Emily had a gymnastics competition over the weekend. So Whoa, she had a busy that's weekend. fun. Where was it? And where are you at? Are you at? Are you already moved? No. No. She's here. Uh, she's at the... I. Are you at Eagle? Oh yeah, she yeah she's, she's at a coach. different studio. We coach and uh, we co you coach against each other, right? Yeah, but we, not at the same time. I was uh, there like ten yeah. years ago. <laughs> yeah, you're old. Is that a Stanley? No, no, it's a corkle. It was given to me. So I, I love that. I so love I that fill moment. it up to fill up our coffee our our like coffee pot. It's perfect. <laughs> this fills up, it up the coffee pot. Because <laughs> the problem is our coffee pot for some reason doesn't fill it up all the way when you put it in like to the max amount yeah. so we use we've been using our vitamix uh like container container thing to fill it up but then we were given this uh on the disney trip the corkle is like a major supporter uh, sponsor i guess of the trip of the trip and so they gave us this and um to be honest we didn't know if we'd even get it home um because we just had so much stuff but we got it and to be honest i get the hype you don't, don't have know. to fill it up as much. Honestly, I want one. They only gave us, like, for the trip, it's like, because you were... Yeah, they only gave us one. Like, one for everybody, each person. But I like the big straw. I think that I'm able to drink more water faster. You guys, I don't think you'll get an ad. If you get an ad, I apologize. <coughs> I have to monetize this for... Um, just so that I get the watch hours for monetization. Because yeah. YouTube is... That's the main way we're monetized. We're so able you, to be monetized because of the live streams. Thanks, yeah. y'all. Because there was a couple years there where we didn't. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, you're word. an elite in a Linux set. Yeah, okay, totally. Sorry, I didn't mean to turn that back on. I just was like, oh, crap, I forgot. Oh, my word. Oh, nice. We won first Wait, Excel coffee bronze. fight? Oh, the, I love that video, Tracy. Wasn't that so funny? We almost didn't post it because it's like so much butt. Like, <laughs> just butts in well, okay, ah! so I was filming a video where I just showed me, like, making coffee, which is the majority of that video. But then Paul came over and was pestering me. As so I then, do, as I do so on the daily. So then we had to fight over it, and I was filming, and I kind of forgot that I was filming. But the, it was on the ground. It was, like, on the ground, because it was just on my phone, like, on my the, water, bottle water bottle stand. Yeah. Um, and I just kind of forgot about it. <laughs> and so when I was editing, and I was like, oh, I forgot about this. Like, that, oh, that's funny. And then... Uh, People were commenting, and I was like, ah, why do you have to make everything so dirty? It's supposed to just be funny. Like, it just was funny. Hi, Cam. Welcome. Uh, Teresa said, no shame, to be, uh, no shame being kicked up on Tuesday. I mean... I mean, might as well be kicked up on a Tuesday. I mean... 
Oh my word. People were talking about a food fight. <laughs> They're like, oh man, you need a food fight. <laughs> oh gosh, is that what they meant? <laughs> so, so that, that's it. Okay, that's kind of funny. Not me laughing at their jokes. Uh, it's just funny. People are people are the worst. Honestly, sometimes I just like congratulations, Emily. That's cool that you got bronze or uh, excel bronze on the stage. Oh wow, Kansas. yeah, that's huge. And another perfect ten. On, you got a ten on bars. That's great. Wait, your your studio like uh, elite did like your your you did or like the person you're are no you she's a coach yeah. So one of your girls or boys got a 10? Kim, hey, how are you? Oh, you as a studio one for <laughs> Excel? Just a well, bunch of brothers being goofy. One of your gymnasts. That's exciting. I know. Honestly, my favorite, you guys, that was one of my favorite things. About that coffee fighting video, that is literally the most authentic, like, that and like the rambles that we do on, on Patreon. Like those are like the most authentic versions of who we are. In real That's life. What is like most of the time. <laughs> Matthew can attest. I am excited for one or two. I'm a little bummed because I'm I'm afraid that like in concept it was a show. Well, okay. And I'm just afraid but that that's gonna mess up the the, the We don't know that that's yeah. what that or how far it got into how, development. We when they changed it to a movie. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. But it was originally your show. So I think that it'll be fine. I'm excited to see Moana go I on another love adventure. Moana. I love Moana. So, so. And I hope that Pua gets to go with her this time, not just Hey Hey. Yeah, same. Pua got snubbed. In Pua my opinion. got snubbed. Pua's um, one of my favorite. Kim said, "I'm good, kind of sleepy today." Same. Um, same. How are you guys? How are you? Uh, let's see. No we are scared. relieved because of taxes. Our taxes got paid. Yeah, I got Love. really excited about um, that. And we have <laughs> we had we had a little bit of money left over. Which we didn't have to go on a payment plan. That's good. We love that. Um, and then yeah, we're relieved. I had a little bit of a, like an anxiety attack last night. Just That's cool, this Emily. weekend, this is not, this is so stupid. And I think, I know it's stupid, which is why it's hard to even talk about, but we're being authentic. But Paul and I both today were really frustrated with each other, very snippy. We choreographed that piece that we posted this morning for my friend, Show Musics. Uh, he did, he released with Nelly Furtado, I don't know how to say her last name, but don't look at me, I don't either. <laughs> but he did her opening number like he mixed the music for her opening number and asked if we would choreograph something for it to try to help it trend on online now nothing i do trends so that's ex not nothing but that's not our mo usually but it's fun challenge of choreograph things yeah the problem is is it's not really a normal type of choreography it's very yeah. like on the nose and needing to be beats and and it worked out and honestly it's it doing looks good. It, really, it looks good but the but it was just really a challenge but we knew we forgot about it until this morning and i saw his post and i said oh no paul we meant, we meant to do this today. Yeah. So we which to be did fair, that. we didn't have time before today. Yeah, we, to we had a recital all weekend. So we didn't have time. But we choreographed it and we were just really snippy with each other. And then we got to the gym and I said, Paul, how are you actually like feeling? And Paul goes, I'm just really bummed. Because this weekend we put a lot of heart and soul into some things. This last two this last week, we felt like we were trying to like do different stuff with content and really be vulnerable and authentic, and nothing performed well. Like it all tanked. Which is not that big of a deal in the grand scheme of the world. It doesn't. No, it's but actually there meaningless. there is quite a bit of bummer. Like, we were just bummed. And, like, so I think some of our tiredness today and, like, specifically our snippiness with one another, my, I was very, like, we booked it through our workout so that we could get home and then stayed at the gym and choreographed for well, an hour. We stayed at the gym because we had worked on this other piece of choreography and it was just fun. It was a good time. It was something we both really wanted to choreograph, and I'm really excited. It should go up tomorrow, hopefully. Tracy, don't come for me. Tracy, don't come. I know. We we're, we're going to be gone most of the weekend, so like we're leaving, yeah, on, we're Wednesday, leaving on Wednesday, and, and I'll be able to edit quite a bit on Wednesday on the drive. We're yeah. going out to a friend's house, and so, but then we'll be at a friend's house for the for a long weekend, and so I yeah. I'm like. I'm not going to have time to like edit and I have so much editing to do. So we'll have time off there. That'll be fun. But so we're shifting our day off from Monday to probably like Thursday, Thursday Friday, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> you know, we'll probably still work some, but <laughs> we'll see. Matthew said Pua is in the, on the catamaran in the concept art and Linda, well, Miranda is not doing the music. So he's excited. <laughs> I'm actually kind of also, awesome. <laughs> I like Lynn. I think Lynn is fine. I just, as long as they have like somebody balancing it, him out. Do we know who's doing the music for 
for Moana too? <sighs> can Peter, uh, Peter, what's the guy? No, that I, just want the people that, I just want the people who do, oh, Phil Collins. Phil Collins. I just think that I want the people who did Frozen to do it. <laughs> I love the music in Frozen. Tracy, you know us so well. Just so well. Luke and I also almost bought tickets to Japan today because we started working on Japan content <laughs> yes. again. And Luke was like, go back. I'm just going to buy a ticket. Let's go tomorrow. I was like, we can't. We can't go tomorrow. And I don't know if you guys know who James and Jasmine are, but they're a couple that dances and they're from Australia. And well, they're, they're in Japan Germany, right now. Germany and somewhere else. And then they now Ger- live in Germany and Australia. Australia. Mm-hmm. And now they live in Australia, but... Um, well, they're kind of between places. They go around. They a bounce lot. around, but they're all they're doing a Japanese like trip, trip, and they just went from they did Tokyo and they're daily vlogging it, and they did Tokyo and danced all over Tokyo, and then they went to Tokyo or to Kyoto, and they're near where we stayed, and I'm like, go to all the coffee restaurants. I'm just so excited. It's so fun to watch. And yeah, I go just, here, go here. Well, like, oh. I've been messaging him a little bit here and there, so I just need to send him some recs. But like, you have to go to this coffee yeah. shop. Yeah. <laughs> uh. That coming up is my favorite. But if you guys are excited, because I'm excited to finally be producing it, we're going to be producing um, our Tokyo vlogs. Yeah, Tracy, no, we can't just do that. But, but sometimes I just think about taking out everything that I have in my savings and just disappearing into Japan and just staying there forever. Oh, yeah, no. There's no way I can go right now, I, like financially. But I want to. I want to. But it wouldn't be smart. Specifically with flights right now, because you're in tourist season, the height yeah. of tourist season. Matthew said no, but it's it's nobody. It's somebody I don't know. Oh, we should look that up. I don't know. I don't know who it is. Now I'm curious. Curious. I didn't know it had been announced yet. Who's doing music? Sorry, I'm we sure. Are. I was watching back a live stream, and it wasn't. It was a couple weeks ago, so I don't know what. It wasn't about anything specific, but I did realize how trailed we are. So we'll see a comment. One of us will reference the comment. But not. Like, we won't get to the point where anyone could tell where we were at mentally because we're talking about a different subject. Shift subjects. Talk about something else without saying what the subject is. Are you tracking me? I'm reading. Well, see? That's the problem. Huh, yeah, I don't know these But guys. our ADHD kind of goes and we can kind of figure out where the other person is before they're actually there. And then the audience doesn't know. Like, you guys don't have a clue what we're talking about. Which is <gasps> fine. You guys are here to hang. I love that. Who? On one of the... Mark... Mark Man... Cena? Mancina. Oh, I know that name. Mark Mancina. He did the music for August Rush, which I uh, love that movie. I love that. It Brother says he Bear. helped with Moana and Brother Bear planes. He helped on Tarzan. He did not do Tarzan, but he helped on Tarzan. That's on his credits. I don't know. But... Maybe on his IMDb we can find Yeah, let's find more info on his IMDb. I love, I love crazy, research this stuff. Crazy, crazy. When the most affordable time of year to go to Japan. Um, I don't know. But I actually but don't September know, but was September awesome. was actually not bad. But I, what I've heard is you, if you're going to go while the yen is low, you need go to now. go soon. Because by, by the fall, it, it might may be, be actually back up. back up and it may be more like expensive. the dollar to yen may be more in the f- yen's favor. But we'll see. Who you knows? just put it in the cart. Just window shopping for flights. I mean, yeah, truth. Really that's though. me. Um, put a little watch on. You know? A little, I watch. little watch. I'll just put a watch on it. Could you put know? a little watch. Just a watch on that flight. <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, probably the September was actually a really decent time to I get love, flights. We love um, going in September. Summer right? is really hot. And winter is quite cold. So just be aware that if you're going to go in like your extreme months of the year, it is going to be extreme. So... Um, I'm always tracking flights from MCI to H&D. Yes. <laughs> if you find any good ones, Tracy, you let me know right away. Okay. Late October and February. Interesting. February? That's why people go right now. Okay, but, but February is better. If you go in February, then you stay through Sakura season. And okay. I see for like a month. I, uh, I told, I told, I want to tell Masaki, I want to text Masaki and be like, Masaki. So you need a roommate? You need a roommate? You need some roommates? I'm going to be there for like three months. Three months. The guy who did the co- uh, compose the score for Wish orchestrated a lot of the movies, but, but no. never fully score. And, and Wish, Wish was, was his the, first. Oh. He did good. I like Wish. Yeah. I do too. Press I the really notify like me when the, the price is lower button. LOL. Yes. And I don't care. I love music in that film. Yeah, me too. Wish. wish. I love the Wish. I love the music in Wish. I and too. honestly, Wish itself was not that bad. I liked Wish. I don't know why, like, people didn't like it. 
I loved it. What was the complaints most people had? With Wish? Yeah. I don't know. Or it just was kind of underwhelming. I don't know. I, I, th- I think people just didn't understand it. I think people have crazy expectations. And I don't know. It was a really cute honest, film. It's not an IP that's tracking something else. And right now everybody True. wants a, a sequel. So yeah. I like an original original story. I liked the villain. I liked the characters. I, the villain. I I did wish that the dwarfs, the people who there's not, more not diversity dwarfs, with the like the, the friends, other ones talked. <laughs> the friends that were supposed to be homages to the seven from Snow yeah. White. Yeah. Um, I wish they had more to say. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, more characters. I wanted more characters that I could latch on I wanted it to be a little bit longer. You can catch the end of the Japanese maple leaves at the end of October and maybe see a few blossoms for blooms sakura. for sakura at the end of February. That's cool. You could, yeah, you could go September and stay. Yeah, but listen, if, if we're gonna if we're gonna go, we're probably gonna go in February of next year and just stay. Might as well. I mean, don't, don't February to get it one way, you know, and then just figure it out. out. Then just fly over after after your your visa runs out. Fly over to South Korea. Fly to Hong Kong, Shanghai, Thailand. Thailand. Hit Australia for a bit. Australia. Jump back over to India. We've never done India. Yeah, India would be cool. India would be cool. I'd like Egypt. to do Vietnam, Egypt. We could do a world tour. <gasps> we could go on the Nile. That'd be sick. Oh, but both both uh, February and October are terribly, are horribly rainy, which is why it's affordable. Yeah, but Makes sense. that can be annoying. But also, it can be kind of cozy. Yeah, if you only sure. to stay in. It's just hard to walk around. Yeah. I okay, agree. guys, we have a meeting tomorrow. Is that a meeting tomorrow with the about people about gonna, the trip? Yeah, where we're going we, to travel. Because we got the amount of surveys we needed, so now we're on to the planning, planning of the trip. Which is exciting for us. Um, we've got to figure out where we're going tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Matthew's going next November. I'm. I want to go, but I'm. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna watch that Disney stuff. The the, the just yeah, Fantasy Springs. I just don't want it to be crazy and not be able to get in and have to pay thousands of dollars to see it. I want to wait till it's just open like the regular park. But I'm cool with waiting. But I just want to make sure I see it. Mm-hmm. And I'll buy the merch on eBay. <laughs> I know, for real. <clears throat> buying in, oh, excuse me. Like buying into the... Uh, yeah, well, I can tell you the... Hi, Maddie! Maddie's on. So exciting, Hi, Maddie. Um, The... Oh, the trip. You are talking about Locations the that people chose. And the majority... Was the top England. One, there's really close ones. England. I'd have to pull it up. London. I have it right here. Which London is in so England. Let me refresh and make sure we have the most accurate. Um, yeah, what up? Yeah, right here. Nice. Well, let's just say. Um, so, so the top with 58 votes was England. England. Next is Italy. With 55. Next is Greece. With also 55. Tied for 55. Tied for, thir- or for second. And then Honestly, Ireland. Honestly, this one's big. Is Ireland third. is 51 people. And France was 50. Man. All Europe, which is awesome. London, Japan 44. had only 43. Oh, people <laughs> needed to bring that one up. Nobody said Thailand. No one said Asian countries other than no, Japan. They, they don't show us any more than this. So That's like, crazy. I'm sure people. I wanted did. Thailand and Vietnam to be up there, and Bali. The Greek Bali islands. was one they pushed for. Well, it's well, it's because it's cheaper. So like because the, yeah, these the, are all really expensive the median, trips. The median budget is is what people like across the board. The like middle point for all of people's budgets that were mentioned is three thousand. I just which seems so expensive to me. But I would love to do Europe. It would be so fun to do yeah. Europe. I don't know. We'll I mean, see. I'm like if I'm sorry. I the keep inside doing, scoop. Yeah. Why does your freaking like screen now do this? Now when I do this, look at this. This is stupid. Who are these people? I'm terrified. I could never. I hate that. Yeah. The idea is scary, but we do. We get to vet people. We, not that we would ever say no to anyone necessarily, but if something was fell off or, or was yeah. whatever. I'm excited to build community because the goal is to just like. Spend I don't time know, with, with, with I you want, guys. I want to cultivate a community of people. Like we were talking to a friend recently and I said, you know, one the thing that was never able to be beaten out or like peer pressured out of me was dancing and there's other things in my life that yeah, i wish i could checks. pursue get there's yeah and so here's the thing here's how it works just to, for can context. i finish my thought though? yes yes i was talking to a friend though about this idea of like Traveling. pursuing something that was so scary even if it was 
something that seemed socially wrong or people didn't like it, like dancing, whatever. And I said, this isn't necessarily like that, but I've always wanted to learn to sing and like wanting to know what the next steps are to take that and what are those things in my life that I want to pursue and be vulnerable with and just pursue them just like blindly. You're not and that's the kind of car community yeah. I want to build on Patreon and on like with travel. Like what's the things holding you back and how could I help facilitate something that would be something we could all push forward together and on those trips what are the things we can do to push each other outside our, right. of our comfort zones to pursue oh yeah i don't know like growth i think that that's like growth so that's what i want to do and i know that's cheesy and so me but <laughs> <laughs> achievement oriented number three but anyway it's fine um i'm oh, sorry get there uh so i said i'm terrified uh keep it in ireland i'd love to go there and matthew says i can never if you did London, Harry Potter? I uh, yes. No. We would be like, listen, y'all. I don't care what Harry y'all do. I'm going to Harry Potter. I gotta go to the exhibit. Uh, Cursed Child? Yeah. Yes. Cursed I'm, Child? I'm gonna be talking to them. They're gonna be like, that's not on the itinerary. I'm gonna be like, well, then book me a couple extra days. I'm go. so sorry. It's gonna be. <laughs> we will put that on the itinerary. Harry Potter? Harry Potter? Yes, yes ma'am. <laughs> um, so Ireland is a great idea. Matthew said, I can never go. Tracy said, if you did London, Harry Potter? Yeah. Uh, Matthew said background checks, get their socials. So how it works. Get their socials. <laughs> for real. Um, how many people can go on the trip? All these are good questions. So basically anywhere between eight. We eight, have to have at least eight. You have to have to at know. least eight, but it caps at, at 28. So 28 individuals, including us. So 27, so 26, 26, including us. No, I think it can be 30, including us. Oh, that's, thir- that's, that's why they cap it at 28. You're right. Which but would be huge. It would be I a big don't group. think that's going to happen. I don't but, think that would happen. Yeah. Um, so uh, my goal, and I again don't know if we will, if we, we will even sell the. We trip don't know if this anyway. is even going to happen. My goal would be around ten total, like. And even that's, that's a realistic goal. That's a realistic yeah. goal. It's ten, and I feel like that'd be like uh, the biggest problem is if we do England or if we do London, if we do some of these European trips, those are just more expensive trips, and therefore it, it kind the of price like, tag prices the price tag out. prices people out, and that's the hard part for me. That's mm-hmm. why I would like to do a Bali or something easier to get to. It's going to be a little bit yeah. more islandy. It, it feels more achievable, whereas England seems so like oh, like a, a lot bigger of a deal, I yeah. guess. But we do have a large community, especially here on Patreon, that is from Europe. And so I'm wondering if there's maybe some people that want yeah. us to go to Europe because they're already there, there, which means that it would be cheaper for them to do it. Right. Because of the flights. Yes. And stuff, yeah. So. so we need to, that's why we're getting on a call uh, tomorrow is to discuss all the details. Yeah. So um, background checks. Uh, yeah. And just trying to vet people a little bit here too. Yeah. Kate, uh, Emily, uh, Emily is going to have to to rep the Casey fam. Maybe we'll get Tracy on it too. Yeah. We'll see. Um, maybe start your uh, small group or small on your first group trip. Start with a Disney World. I don't think that's even an option on there. Um, no, Disney World be- is expensive. So like it's, all, we were pricing it out. It's cheaper to go on an to international go on a, trip than to, to go, go on an Disney. international trip than to, than to go to Disney World for three days. Like, it's crazy. It's insane And sometimes it's cheaper, it like it's cheaper if you find like last minute cruise um, dates, it's cheap, way cheaper to go on a seven day fantasy, like the Disney fantasy cruise ship. It's, it's like cheaper roughly to go $2,000. Yeah, roughly, you can find last minute, like within 90 days that doesn't of the trip. Include your flight to get there and stuff. But, but still like $2,000, where yeah. it easily you'd spend by yourself going to Disney World would be three to $4,000. <laughs> two to three probably. For a week. You can do it. Oh, for a week, yeah. You'd be two to three. So just cheaper, but I'd have to price that out. Like for, like, cause for us, it, yeah, it's just hard. It's hard to know. Um, so it will be tricky. All the HP stuff in London is so much <laughs> Yeah, fun. Maddie and I will go on a stalker trip, which is the same trip, but completely separate, so we can judge it from a safe distance. <laughs> yes! Please! Uh, and you can uh, you can peep on all the drama. The drama. Which I, d- I hope there isn't any, no. but you never know. I, wa- uh, I was going to take a European cruise, but the airport was three times as much as the cruise. I know. Now. That's the hard part. Oh, the air to yeah, get that's there. hard. That's the hard part. I want to do a European cruise. That would be fun because yeah. then you can see a lot of European countries. Yes. Like, you know, along the I agree. Way. That would be so cool. I think that, like, that's like, yeah. My thing is, like, I just want to discover new places and learn new history. Maybe go to some museums. That's kind of, like, my the vibe because I want to learn more. Yeah. I want it to be educational, but I also want it to be fun. I want to try to yeah. do some things outside my comfort zone. I also would love to do, that's why I would love to do the that's Amazing true. Race, because it'd be stressful and fun. Yeah, that would be stressful. Uh, I would like to do it, too. Um, we'll start a sign-up sheet after this. The worst I have uh, on file is a speeding ticket, so I'm sound. Yeah, Nick. Yeah, Nick. 
Um, I love a good museum. The fact that people said three thousand dollars was their median budget. I I agree, and that's like why I would like. To I would like to shoot place. closer to the. Well, we're gonna we're gonna. I don't know. We gotta we're, go we have call. a conversation tomorrow, and that we'll get a lot more answers tomorrow. Yeah. I think that'll help us know where we're going. Yeah, not France this year. That's the Olympics are there this year. It's there's no way. No, that's not even on the list. That, I don't think. Yeah, it is. France is uh, number five. It's we place. those surveys are great, but we don't have to go with anything on this. No, we don't. We don't. This is telling me us where people want to go. Those are all the most expensive trips. I know. Literally, that's what she England, said on the call. France. She said, "What about what, where would you like to go?" And I was like, "Literally anywhere in Asia." But here's the deal: England is the England in general. So the country of England, yes, is fifty-eight. But London is forty. Is like eighth 44. place, ninth place. But if you went to just London, that would that be cheaper? We have to look. I, I don't know. I, these aren't the price tags. These are like where people. It's all on there, but it's just crazy. So I'll go to Iowa. Just go to Iowa. <laughs> I know for real. Um, interesting. Morning, it looks like September is like the most popular time of year for people. Uh, Costa Rica would be good. We should go to New Zealand. I would love to go to New Zealand too. I would. It's too. Beautiful. I. I it's my uh, friend's name. Ireland is number four, fourth place, and I love that. Ireland would be cool, but the again, I think is, it's kind of expensive. I think that Costa Rica or somewhere in South America, somewhere closer. It just depends on where these surveys are coming from, too. Yeah, that's true. Like I don't know where these surveys are coming that's from. That's true. Which, I mean, it sucks for the U.S. market if people from the U.S. want to go because it's the flights that suck. I know. <sighs> that's crazy. The, that's, I will, that's crazy to me. Yeah, that's crazy. I will say that we do have quite a few people in the two thousand dollar market. Yeah, and that's like what. That's where I would like, to, I'd shoot. like to shoot. Is there the t- t- between two thousand twenty five hundred? Let the max. It's just hard. We're going to talk to our contact at Trova and see. Yeah, they they've what sold they more recommend. of these trips than what they we've done. They know. They so know. Much. They have a lot more wisdom on, on mm-hmm. it, and we we definitely want to we want to like plan something that people would want to go on yeah. and also be affordable. So that's our good. Yeah. We want it to be uh, Ireland could be great. The flights could be found around five hundred dollars, so that'd be good. Oh, okay. That's actually that's a good that's good to know. It's a little weird. I spent so much time in the mountains. I'm feeling like a tropical paradise era next. You did talk about. Didn't you talk about going to an island, Maddie? I agree with that. On that survey, there was Tracy was telling us about it because we technically <laughs> couldn't take it and we should have taken it as just like a null, like with a. Like a like a junk email or something, just so we could. It's being weird look that, at the what where we're located isn't an option when like they want where you're located and stuff. Yeah, it's like oh, that's true because that whole they, wait that's not part of the survey at all. No, so it doesn't oh. know where you are. So that's where it's oh, like I would I would be curious in. Oh, uh, you'd be curious to know. I'd just be curious. Sorry, you stopped talking. Sorry, I just started reading comments. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's hard. I don't really understand either. That's crazy. Um, I am just curious. I think about all of it and seeing how it's going to work out. But I see Matthew. You say that he says I spent so much time in the mountains. I feel a tropical paradise era next. And I'm I, like, I'm always down. I'm for a tropical always down. Paradise. We could go to Curacao. It's cheap. <laughs> I know. I thought about that too. They don't have. They don't have like a Curacao itinerary, but I would. I love because I love Curacao. Snorkeling. If we put on the the itinerary that snorkeling out by that uh, reef, yeah, that, uh, or the boat. Gosh, so cool. I love it. And there's also good housing out there. I know. There's great housing. It's fairly affordable. Yeah, that it, the electric out there is nuts. Yeah, it's a little hard, but not not that's not our problem. That that's like uh, the problem for the people. <laughs> yeah, Tracy. We were talking to. I was like, well. We couldn't take it. Like, we're, that wasn't a part of, like, what we could do. And she goes, make a fake email. And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess you're right. I, I have a lot that. of those. Um, Tracy said, um, they said to me, we couldn't take it. And I was like, just make a fake email. Um, Tim, yeah, it's crazy. It's actually sometimes cheaper to fly. If you're in New York or something. No, if you're in Florida. Because oh, you're, yeah. if you're, you're in, in Florida, Florida, if you're close enough to an international air, airport like Miami or even Orlando, you can get to most places. Europe. Five hundred dollars, like Paris. Even from here, sometimes you can get like we usually have to have a transfer, but Paris isn't always terrible. That's right, Kim. It's, Kim is in Australia, and has it been interesting going? I did find that fascinating because, especially that does play 
into a lot of the decision we make is like where people are coming from. Because if you could find a central location for everybody. Yeah, I wonder why that's not, because that's not like a, a question on the thing. I'll have to ask her about that tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Say, hey, I think this would be valuable because then we could see where it would be a central point for all these people. Yeah. Even if it's not like. Yeah, that would be, maybe this one we can write down and talk to her tomorrow, about tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, and the budget does exclude the flights, yeah. which is hard. Which is hard because then it's like hard Dublin, to Dublin, Barcelona, trip. Paris are often dropped to like $500, $600. Oh! Well, maybe we should go there. Barcelona? That'd I'm going to say most of you are American, but it would probably be helpful to know. I agree, Maddie. Yeah, like, because here's... But the, that's a problem. We can't just assume they're American. Yeah. I have people because, saying, come I, to London because I'm already here. Right. I was like, or oh. come to South America because I'm already here. Right. And I'm like, okay. Well, come to Japan because I'm already here. Right, but then it's like that's hard for everybody else. Right. So where's but I but we but can't find central. a majority. We can't find a majority because there isn't a majority. Milan. I love Milan. We've never been, but it's yeah. less frequently. Oh, cheap to get there. It's less frequently cheap to get there. Interesting. I need to wash my hair tonight. <laughs> I know. My hair is disgusting. Hair feels gross. Um, I usually wash it last night, and I didn't. Because we, we didn't do anything all Yeah, day. so I think tomorrow we'll know more information. I'm on the east coast of Florida in April. So a lot of people here drive to Miami or Fort Lauderdale for those kind of trips. The drive is about one, one and a half hours. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 Um, oh, yeah, hard. Naples. Yeah, Naples. yeah, yeah. That's yeah, where yeah. Julie lives. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, European countries, because I'm already here. But yeah, it's difficult to know. Yeah. Because Maddie, yeah, you chose the European country. Gosh, that's so hard. But that's why the European ones might be best because then people are already there. Yeah. Because Europe is still a long trip from Australia, though. Like you think about those, right. like there's the world is big. <laughs> that's a long way from here, and it's a long way from Australia. Yeah. But, is I don't know. I'll be curious to see if, if we can even sell this trip. That's what I'm, I'll be curious. <laughs> yeah. Like because like once you've picked a spot, it immediately silos. Like budgets and that stuff, so you immediately have a, a smaller demographic to work with. So like that's like hard um, for me. Poland is on the list. It is. Um, we looked at it. <laughs> Brian Line, that could be a game changer for airport commute on the east coast on of Florida. That's awesome. Cam is keen to go anywhere. Okay. We can get you an affordable trip. Well, that's what yeah, we'll that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping to get get because I'd like it to make it accessible to the people that like are invested in this community. Like that's the goal yeah. for us is to get to go travel with the people that are invested. That way, one, we can get to know you on a personal level too, and then it's also like become real friends. Sorry, I'm grossly pulling things out of my eyes. Yeah, what are you doing? I keep seeing things like eyeliner, eyebrows, or eyelashes and stuff that are like it's floating in my eye gunk. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, um, it's allergy season, so you're probably yes. dealing with that too. Um, I don't know a lot about Asia or South America countries, so I don't think I choose a ton of those. Oh, gotcha. Thailand is so cheap. Vietnam. <laughs> Vietnam. You can do like, what did somebody say? You can go to Thailand and no, go. No, Vietnam. No, you can go to Thailand. You can go to Thailand. Didn't Lake go to live. Vietnam? And just was like, yeah, but yeah, you but can go to Thailand and live for $10 a day. And you can just live for as long as you want. And you can find hostels that are less than five dollars a night. Like it's crazy. If you're willing to just like hunker down and go travel and explore, man. We were going to take a cruise starting in Copenhagen oh. for ten days, oh, but I got canceled. No, one of our subs was rushed. That Rick, that is so sad. Oh, a that ten is day so cruise cool. would be so great. Yeah, Caitlin's done that multiple times. Yeah, Caitlin's one of the reasons that I... So Matthew has an old coworker, Caitlin, that he used to work with, and um, we knew her because of Matthew, but um, she's gone to Thailand multiple times. Because it's, like, cute and in inexpensive. It's also tropical, it plards, it's, it's beautiful. Listen, we could still book it. Nobody had to vote on it. <laughs> it may be harder to sell. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's the problem. That's the freaking problem. But it's cheap. And you can do the more. The main thing is that I want to feel safe wherever I am. And the thing about that's nice about this trip is that we're going to have a guide with us the whole time. Yeah. And therefore, there will be safety precautions put up. 
they've done these before. This is not new. So yeah. That's why they're all like planned trips. Yeah, they're, they're, like they're, if you look at the trips, like the ones that will, when we select them, it'll tell you exactly what you can do, like what we'll be doing on the trip. Yeah. Already done. It's already there. So when we look at the trips, we look at like how many meals are planned, how much, you know, like what restaurants were, you know, like it's like planned out. Yeah. So. They keep you fairly busy, too. I mean, there's some downtime, but it's... <laughs> Tracy's like, I've done that cruise. That's so cool. But sadly, it, Rick got, Rick's got canceled. I'm bummed about that for you. Oh, Tim. I'm so fussy. I'm high maintenance. <laughs> I don't know if $10 a day would be enough for me. No, but here's no, the deal. No, I think you'd be surprised. These I, Asian countries, I, when we were in China, can it was we, that can way. We, I, can I figure out... My friend Caitlin, I... You have to go look. I don't know if she has stories like I think on, she does. As she makes like little story Karen like Howard. save saves like her stories, but they are literally like so aesthetic. So like you could say high maintenance, but you could still live for ten dollars a day high, high maintenance. Yes, like because the cost of living there is so low, you'd be surprised what you could get for the money that you're willing to spend. What's her handle? Oh. forever to load sorry that's crazy oh my gosh we made stuff for tea i'm gonna go uh, make some tea i man my i'm so thirsty right now i know I'm, i cannot find her handle matthew might know it um where to go oh. i'm spelling it wrong that's why caitlin Howard. Yeah, it is. I'm just going to type it in here. It's a public account, right? She's got such a vibe. And she's got a ton of like, let me see if she has. Yeah, Thailand's the last one on her real set. Um, if you save that and go look it up later. But um, she has a Thailand like highlight reel. Just go look at that. That's what made me want to go. It's all her reels. Honestly, and she has, it's like so, it's so, so aesthetic. aesthetic. Oh, I miss her. Honestly, I need to go see her. This is so, oh my God, I didn't see all of this. Oh wait, on my phone, maybe, mm, let's see if I can she pull it up. She is so aesthetic, holy cow. I want to show, I want to show the I live, more like that uh, quartet we saw. <laughs> oh, we saw I live. I am obsessed with quartets right now. Paul and I on our For You page have a, several quartets coming through and we're obsessed with them. I want to learn how to sing so bad. Like, sing parts with Paul. Yeah. Like, be able to not just... Because right now, Luke and I just can sing melody together. Or, like, if we're singing a part, we can sing that part together. Well, where in America would you like but to visit that you have not been? Yellowstone. Yellowstone? Yeah. Or, I mean, I really want to go up to Maine. Like, up in the northern... Ha- like, New Hampshire, Maine. Like, we've been up there, but I would like to go again. I'd like um, to go to New, New Hampshire again. We've been to New Hampshire, but I loved it. Yeah. But I go to New Hampshire and not have to work. Yes. We were working, and so that's hard. Yes. Maybe, like, somewhere in the Pacific Northeast. Pacific Northwest? East? Done the, we've done the Northwest. We have. Uh, Alaska, Alaska doing... would be cool. I just... I don't like the cold. Hawaii! So if I did Nebraska... Or Nebraska. If I did Alaska, it'd have to be during the summertime, and I'd have to do, like... I don't know. I'm sure it's beautiful. I would have fun anywhere, but... That would be beautiful. Hawaii is, is like the big one that I would love to do that I've never done. Um, there's a lot of places I would like to go back to. I feel like there's a lot of places in my life that I've been, but like quickly mm-hmm. or like for work and not like, I don't know. Yeah, I, there's parts of the country that I feel like I know a lot about, but there's also a lot that I don't know. Like I was in Tucson, Arizona for two weeks working and I loved exploring Sedona. Uh, Sabino Canyon, um, and that area was beautiful. But I've never really done Phoenix. I've never really done Flagstaff. There's parts of like yeah. Arizona, New Mexico. Um, oh, I love this tea. Matthew Jones. Oh, Matthew. Matthew Jones. This is the uh, one that Matthew gave us when he moved. Wait, who gave us that one? Did we? Did we get for you? Did you, somebody give it to us? Um, I've done San Francisco, but I'd love to do it again. Same, same jersey, same. Um, when we were, when you're working in a place, you're given a per diem, but it is so, well, we used to, TBT to that, when, when like, we worked for Cerner, and now they don't do that anymore. Don't go to Idaho. I mean, yay America. I, my sister loves Idaho. Loves Idaho. Idaho. My sister loves Idaho. Krista has written songs about Idaho. She loves They're not Idaho. good, but she's written some songs about Idaho. <laughs> I, 
think that it'd be so fun. Matthew went to see the big, um, it looks like there's waves cut into like rocks. The Mich- we have cousins like in Michigan. Go. What? We have cousins. We've done Michigan. What did you just say? Remember the, the like, National Park? Matthew, which one is it that has like, it looks like waves are carved into? Oh, it's in Texas, I think. Is it Texas? I Where it's like, it's like red, red rocks. Yeah, but they're, they're like, like layered. Waves and, and they're like, like layered and you walk through them. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And listen, Tracy, if you heard the songs, you would know. They're, they're precious. They, they warm my heart, but they are, they are something else. Is it Idaho? Yeah, yes. it's Idaho. 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 <laughs> She's the most precious. I am obsessed with her. I love her with all my heart. And we do. <laughs> I'm going to turn this up a little bit. I feel like it's not bright enough. The only thing I think about Idaho is potatoes. Yeah. Same. No, not really. Actually, I think about the hiking because that's what she talks about. And yeah. the camping. The hiking and the camping. And they camped. Her and her girlfriends just camped on the side of the road for like three days. No. Oh, my gosh. There wasn't even a campsite. Um, I was like... <laughs> I think that my whole focus has just been Japan. Like, I'm learning Japanese, and I've been doing that for over almost a year now. For almost a year, uh, every day, we've been working on Japanese, and then we've been to Jap- Japan. But I would love... South Korea, I think... We're not talking about America anymore, I guess. Um, but South Korea is, like, <laughs> the top of my bucket list of, yeah. like, where I want to go. I want to go dance at One Million. I want to go dance anywhere I can there. I want to go explore the streets, the mm-hmm. food. Um, the people, the culture, the music. I would love to go to a mm. festival, like a K-pop festival. Honestly, guess, guess what? Right now, I'm, I'm editing our Japan content, and so I just want to go back to Japan right now. So bad. <laughs> so bad. And James and Jasmine are in Japan right now, so that... Oh, you're talking about Zion. Yeah, I think that's what I'm talking about. Zion National Park. <gasps> yeah! Is that what I was talking about with like, the waves cut into let me it? Let me look it up. Zion National Park. Yes, Luke, it's this. What? Whenever I say I'm from Idaho, they ask if I'm a potato farmer. That's what, yeah. that's what Nick said. These. These waves. These, like, rock. Yeah. Waves. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, those are so cool. Zion. It was, like, I, UTA. We, so, my, my San Francisco story, and the only time I've really been in San Francisco is... Uh, we had just gone to our first year of VidCon. It was 2016. We were daily vlogging. We were exhausted. We had just gone to Disneyland for the first time. I had just met Matthew for the first time, which is crazy. And then um, Matthew flew home. We flew home. But we were flying Santa Ana um, or Orange County, whatever, whatever the airport is there, John Wayne. And our flight got canceled and changed and rebooked and all this stuff. And we ended up in Oakland, California at a layover, which then our overnight flight, it was supposed to go through Vegas, which didn't end up happening, got canceled. And they couldn't rebook us until I think it was like 6 p.m. the next day. So it was 4 a.m. or 2 a.m. or something. It was 2 a.m. Because then we they kicked us out of the security line and they said, okay, you, you have to leave security. And then you can come back in within four hours of your flight. So we were sleeping near the baggage claim, which is just like a hard cement floor. And it was me and Paul, my friend Ben, and now my ex-girlfriend now, but at the time we were dating, Haley. And we were just like, let's get a few hours of sleep and then let's try to go into the city. We've never done Haley had broken the flip-flop, so she didn't have shoes. And our bags were all On the airplane, So they were on the airport. We couldn't get them. So we had what we had on our backs. I didn't have any clothes. I had a vid concert on. And we were like young and dumb and didn't think to go get a hotel. Like there's like now things I would be like, okay, there's four of us here. Let's, Let's go, go get a hotel. hotel. Yeah. For 25 bucks a piece and get some rest. But it we was didn't. really fun because yeah. we took a taxi. or we took 5 a.m. No, 4. 4 a.m. Oh, yeah, 5. We took a cab from the Oakland, or it was an Uber, from the Oakland airport all the way up to the Golden Gate Bridge when we got there at sunrise, it was foggy. You couldn't even see the bridge. The Uber driver was nice and waited for us, took us back into the city and said, hey, I have to drop you off before it starts surging or you're going to get charged a bunch. I said, okay, drop us wherever. So he drops us off. We're, we don't know what to do. We're in the middle of San Francisco. We end up walking to Chinatown, exploring Chinatown, getting dumplings for the first time, bumping into other friends from New Zealand that were, that were at VidCon that, we, that had come to San Francisco. You might to need visit. to start your story over again. Somehow the life he tripped out for a second it doesn't really matter but i had a 24-hour explore uh, exploration of walking around san francisco before catching a uber in shorts and a t-shirt when it was so cold it was like 53 degrees yeah. it was so cold but it was a very fun experience and it we, was rainy and we were trying to find a target and then we finally found a target but they didn't have anything like they, they only, only had needed. like 
they only had summer stuff. And then it was also like, I was like, guys, it's like so cold outside. Why didn't you have a coat or a hoodie? They only had like their sports team. We all kind of didn't know what to do. And so we didn't really have much of a direction. But I'm so glad that that Ben wanted to go to Chinatown because... Mm -hmm. Chinatown in San Francisco is an, on another level. It's so cool. It does feel like you're entering China. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It smells like China. We it's got we got like cool. uh what do we do there? Ch- the the where they like go around with the the, the oh, steamed uh, uh dim sum. Dim sum, yeah. yeah. That was we so did good. dim sum for the first time. That was, so that was really, really fun. That was really fun. We had a good time. Yeah. That's my San Francisco story. Yeah. Oh, and then we did find flip flops for uh for Haley, but Haley <laughs> But it Haley was being very picky with the flip flops she wanted to get. She, she Walgreens flip flops just weren't it. Weren't it? So she had to keep. She walked barefoot a lot for a long. And my mom was so mad at me for not. Yeah, Tim her saw my that shoes. vlog. I remember how how cold you were. Yeah, it looks freezing. Oh, we should watch that. One also, again. I was looking back at those old vlogs, and I have lost so much weight since then. Like, yeah, I know I have, but then like I look back and I'm like, whoa, whoa yeah, bro. Not like whoa, bro. Like it, it wasn't that bad, but it was like. No, it's I, just think, a lot I just think it's di- it's yeah. crazy because you don't think about it. You look I also yourself now. grew my beard out all the time, and it was not a good look. I'm so glad I shave. I shave it down now, but even now, sometimes I'm like, I like how I look clean shaven, but I look so young, so young, yeah. clean shaven. So it's like, I guess that's not a bad thing. I like a little bit, but I'd like this to fill in. I know. I wish this was th- this. Was I keep thicker. trying. Derma stamping. Putting my little monoxide Tonight, on I'll there. Do it again. We'll see. You look like a different person. Plus, your beard was. We showed yeah. pictures of someone recently that only had known us since 2020. Yeah, and they people. were like, "Wow, I would not recognize you." Yeah, like I don't think I. Well, somebody, somebody on on uh, on my post, I I made that post about how I was insecure about my weight, um, and I didn't want to post that video because without my shirt on because of the comments I knew I'd get, and um. Somebody commented on that to somebody else. Somebody else was coming to me like, oh my gosh, how dare you say this, blah, 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 blah. And then somebody responded to them by saying, if you look back, it was on Facebook. Oh. And they were like, and that obviously there's not that much on there. Like it doesn't right. go back that far for short content. And so they're like, if you scroll back and look, like he has lost a lot of weight. So like, don't like, just because yeah. he's on a journey and he's struggling with- uh, Some uh, acceptance, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, it doesn't mean you should like, just think Underplay he's always it, been yeah. this, yeah. Or something. I don't remember what they were. They were just being nice. But I was just like, I was like, dang. No. You know, what? Was saying never enough. Yes, she did. I saw this. No, I didn't see that. You have to look it up. After but the didn't she stream. go on like um, X Factor? I think say, so. I think you'll know the song, but I don't think you knew who sang it. And yeah, then she sang I think it. so. And that went but super then, viral, but she made it like, oh, she, that's awesome. I just saw it on uh, Short Form and then I also saw it on YouTube. Oh, I love that. Oh, let me see. I mean, yeah, you've followed the journey, so you've seen what it looks like step by step. That's crazy, Emily. That's true, because she met us in... Oh, yeah, 2020. Or yeah. In, uh, before that, before I lost oh. all the weight. Look at my likes. I'm going to show you guys this acapella. You won't be able to... Like, I'll just... Life could be easy. Life could be easy. 18, 2018. I'm going to play that Yeah, I do too. Bum, ba, dum, ba, dum. Mm-hmm. Oh, I want to sing like that. I know. I want to be able to sing all those parts. Oh, freaking good. So freaking good. Okay. That's my kind of... Rick, we're... Kindred Spirits. That's my kind of music. That's my kind of music, too. It reminds me of Cars. Had, <laughs> yes. I, that, well, that's how kids in Cars. I know. But, um, the... My, my go-to right now, Matthew bought me for my, my birthday in 2022. 20, our 20. birthday. It was 2022. He bought us a record player, and um, we went and it found was, records. It was 2022. No, because it was when he moved away. We we had oh twenty one, so it was twenty one. Twenty one, yeah, early twenty one. Yeah, and for a birthday, uh, for a birthday of twenty one, yeah. and it doesn't matter, but yeah, but he got us a uh, record. We we went out and found records, and one of my favorite records. We have a Benny Benny Goodman like big band um, whole album with like four different records. Records, and we love that one. But also we have the the sound track for Breakfast right. at Tiffany's and that's the one that's always on repeat. It's literally on it's this. on right now. It's on. I listened to it all today. I was just it like, is Ugh. such a vibe. It makes and honestly, just like, 
Okay. A cup of tea. Let, this is something I do want to talk about. Luke and I are easily distracted, as you can tell. Um, <laughs> it's not a surprise for anyone. But one thing that's really interesting is that we will work all day. So to stop working, when we stop working, we'll get on our phones on the apps and just scroll. But then Doom that's scroll. also kind of work. But it's we're kind of work. Researching. We're doing research, but like it's it's very easily a lot of times just like habitual. So like we also know that there's other things that need to be done in our house, not just scrolling and work. So there's been a couple times where we'll get done, and we got into a nasty habit in 2020 um, of just watching things every night. Like we would get through the day. We'd eat dinner, and then we'd watch, like, a movie. And this was even when Matthew was here. And Matthew would always be like, no, let's go on an adventure. Let's go do something. And and Luke and I would, just would, like, be content to just watch a movie or watch right. a show. I love watching I TV. I love watching TV. But, and that's not bad. That's not a bad thing. But it is, like, for us sometimes that we get into this rut. Yes, Matthew, I saw your new vinyl. It looks very nice. Casey Musgraves. Oh, my gosh. Did you see it on Instagram? No. I don't have to look it up. Um, you should text Paul a picture. Text me a picture. Um, but anyway, so... What we've started doing is when we get done with work, we set a time limit and we say we have to be st- we have to stop working at this time because otherwise we'll work forever. So we were like, the other day but we were like, we do? but now what do we do? Like I don't want to scroll on my phone and I don't want to like, like I need to do some we cleaning need clean. and stuff. And so we just turned on that breakfast at Tiffany's album and boy, we got so much done in an we're hour. Cleaned so much. It is just so great. Yeah, we should put it on more often. We and sometimes we'll do something from that. And sometimes we'll put on. Fun. Sometimes we'll put on audiobooks, and that'll do the same thing. It'll be like it'll stimulate our brain just enough to keep us focused on one thing. So then we can just do that one thing. That's true. So if you're struggling with ADHD, maybe try listening to an audiobook and trying to Did do the you job see, you were doing. I saw something on. Um, that way, it's just like one focus. I don't. Maybe not. It was something on Instagram of somebody talking about how they 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 had created a playlist of four songs, mm. um, and. The fifth song, was, it was, the four songs were the same song over oh, and over one, again. One, two, three, four. And then the last song was something so different, a completely different genre. Mm-hmm. And the, the idea is it's like a timer where you put on this music, this like whatever fixation of music you have, and they, the same song goes, and then suddenly your brain stops like tracking it, and then this other thing comes on, and you're like, whoa, that's not right. Oh, now it's time to switch tasks or whatever I'm oh, supposed to be sure. doing. And it forces you to stay off your phone, stop, don't, don't get sucked in. But to do that task, and then as soon as that other song comes off, you're ready. To comes go. on, you start it over again, and doing the next task. Or if you're doing the same task, doing it again, and that would probably work for some people. I like an audiobook. <laughs> Once caught in my confusion of Paul's weight loss journey, he picked me up from the airport. And I was like, "Who is this man? Oh, gee, Paul!" <laughs> yeah, that was funny. But I do remember that. Uh, Tracy, you recently, I don't know if you told me about that in the moment, but I think you told me about it later because I remember that story. <laughs> Um, so fancy. The red lights here in Nepal are so long, like minutes long. So I will look at social media. <laughs> That's always you. Like I'm on IG all day. That's okay, Tim. That's fair. What? He at the red lights. He'll look at IG. But I mean, honestly, honestly, I do that. I do that. Yeah, our red lights aren't that long. That's why I just get honked yeah. up. Yeah. I do this for work oh, too. I'll never. It's get it eleven. Done. We uh, need to be was... done because we have so much to do tonight before we go to bed. Uh, Tonight's the night that we have to derma stamp our heads, put little tiny wash needles on our heads, wash our hair, do our skin, do all our skin care, big skin care. But honestly, it's a big skin care night. It's also the the derma stamping just takes a long time, so it's like I don't. Want if to I'd do already it. taken a shower, mm. I would just do it live on the live. Live on the live. That feels weird. <laughs> derma stamping. Why? Why would derma stamping not on live? Feels weird. weird. It just. I'm not. Not sure if I'm confident in my me- in my actual technique yet. Mm-hmm. Prayer request. Yes. If Answer you have anything, prayer request. Prayer request. <gasps> Final, Final interview. interview. Congrats. That's exciting. That is so exciting. Woo-hoo. Anybody else got any prayer requests? Any big life things? Like Emily, I know you're getting ready to move. Oh yeah, packing boxes while you watch The Crown. I love that. My problem is if it's a show I want to really watch, I will sit down and I just I. That's why listening to stuff helps me. Yeah. But that's good. But there's some shows like anime and stuff that I can watch passively. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was just back. working and watching Pokemon Indigo mm-hmm. uh, League. And I love that. And sometimes we'll do that with like Avatar The Last Airbender. The stuff that's series. very familiar. Yeah. It's like super yeah. familiar and we can just watch it. Any other prayer requests, you guys? Actually, you want to go and pray us? Yeah, I'll, I can. I'll, or well, whatever. Uh, I did last week. You go this yeah, week. Okay. Um, but keep sharing a prayer request. We're going to pray over them yeah. as they come in and then we'll read through them after we're done. Yeah. Praying. Heavenly Father God, I thank you for today and for this group and just the people that are here tonight. We are just so thankful for each and every one of them and for their investment in our community. I'm so excited for the future plans of travel and of going somewhere and being together. I just pray that 
your will will be done. You will find the right place to go and that it will be a place that's accessible for everybody. Um, God, thank you for this time that we can all be together and that we can all um, enjoy just that your presence and also the, the presence of one another. God, I just want to thank you for each person on the stream. I pray that you'll be with um, the health of each individual, with their families, um, as well as just their hearts and their minds um, with mental illness as well. Keep us focused. Help us to know how to get all these things we need to get done done. God, you are, you know what's important. And I love this journey that we've been on and realizing what is important and what's important to you and also what isn't important and what's not that deep. And then I can just release some of those things that I hold so tightly. So I want to thank you for that. Um, give us wisdom as we move forward in every day and every little thing, especially content though. Give us wisdom as to where we're going and how to do it best and to glorify you in everything that we do. And in your name I pray, amen. God, I also want to pray for my friend who got some bad news today. Oh, I just yeah. want to pray for comfort and wisdom about the future and knowing what to do. Um, just thank you so much for the opportunity that we can have to be surrounded ourselves in community. And I pray that we will lean on each other during these times of, of hardship. Mm -hmm. Just in my prayer, amen. Amen. All right, let's see what you guys got. Um, Emily said, or no, no. Uh, Today I picked boxes. Oh, um, Maddie Tracy. said, "My bad." We have talked about Tracy's already, but yeah. my bad. My dad's back. Uh, my dad's back in the hospital with a heart problem. Oh, He's no, doing okay, Maddie. but yeah, that's tough. That's so tough. Uh, Emily's show is on April twelfth and thirteenth. Still so much to do, oh, but praise. I had heat rash on my arms over the weekend, and it uh, and it cleared up this afternoon. That's huge. huge. That's awesome. Thank you. Praise Thank God. the Lord. All right, y'all. I think we're just gonna leave it there. If you do have any prayer requests, do not hesitate to reach out on Instagram, yeah, yeah. especially in those DMs. Or here, if you can if, message us here. If you get like, if you try to message us and we don't approve it and then you get locked out and you can't send more messages, let us know either like in another form of socials, either even email us. If you're on Patreon, you can message us. Yeah, message us if on you're Patreon. If you're a free member, you can message us. But do that so that we can go us. approve you on Instagram so we can talk on Instagram because it's just the easiest place for yeah. us to talk. We are posting several new videos to Patreon, so if you're only a free member, you will not have access to those. But our paid members will have access to those hopefully next week. We have another video going live on Sunday and then one going live after that. So we have a plan. Uh, and then we'll hopefully by next week be starting to post some Japan content. I'm not sure if it's going to be in the right order of how we were on the trip, but you'll be able to see that as yeah. we have it come out. So it's going to be so excited. much fun. So excited. Anyway, that's all we have for you uh, today. I've got to get back to my screen that I can control. <laughs> We love y'all and we are so thankful that you're here. These might go back over to YouTube just for the the the, the sheer announcement that is the yeah, email that can go out every time we go live. Um, but we did love doing this one here today. So if you're interested, keep an eye out, keep an eye out for the links and just thank it'll you be, guys for being here. Thanks for